Welcome back to another episode of Smash Engineering. Today we're working on an air compressor. Um, the Here, let me just show you. The regulator has stopped working and it's leaking out of here. And you can turn this all you want, no matter what happens, and it, uh, it won't regulate the pressure. This, no matter what you do, this pressure stays the same as the tank pressure. So we're going to replace this. Oh, you can hear it leaking or not. But, so it's leaking, and I'm going to show you guys how to change it. It's real simple. You just unthread here, you buy a new one, you put it all together, and then rethread it there with either some, looks like they used, I'm going to use uh, Teflon tape. It looks like they used some kind of putty, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. Smash engineering. You need to know that I'm right. Tonight we gonna set this All right, first things first. We're gonna let the pressure out. I'm actually gonna do that at the bottom of the tank here. As you can see, right there. I turn the valve. You're supposed to do this every once in a while because water builds up in the tank. So this is actually a good little maintenance trick for you, tip for you. If you don't clean that out, uh, at the bottom of your tank will rust out. So next, we're going to remove these, these fittings. And um, we're going to hold this and unscrew this, which I don't see. I wonder if I can just put it on there. It's probably not exactly the perfect way to do it, um, bending this line out of the way. But as long as you don't kink this line, you're not going to have any issues. So, um, And I may, it was leaking from this line, so I may have to clean that copper line up a little bit and um, see what uh, see what I got to do to get that to stop leaking anyway. But So we got our old one off here. If you go on handy dandy Amazon, you can get this one. There you go. Good old uh, Chinese specialty. It doesn't have to be anything special, but this one's cool. It comes with your tape. Comes all disassembled. You got your your new gauge and your fittings, fittings that you might need. <clears throat> Let's make sure our that's the right one. So we got that. So we're going to tape up all these joints. I'm going to put that in last um, so that way I can fit everything on here like it's supposed to be. But as you thread it in. I don't know about you guys, but I can't stand an air compressor that just sits there and hisses. For one, it's very inefficient. Um, it's kicking on because it's just wasting 
compressed air to atmosphere. We don't want to waste. We want there to be plenty of resources for the next generations to come. So we got that on that side. And how you can tell if you did it right is if you put your fingers on it, does it pull it off when you're going righty tighty? So we're gonna do that on this side. Make sure you're not looping it where it's going like this. The air, the air pressure would probably blow that out of the way. But you don't want any obstructions, especially if you're going to use like impacts or anything. You don't want that stuff getting sucked into the into the impact or restricting your overall flow and volume. I'll be honest, this um this Chinese uh thread tape is not feeling very convincing, but we'll give it a shot. We'll give it a shot. Who knows? Maybe it'll impress us. <clears throat> now you don't have to snag down on these super tight. I usually go I usually go tight and then about a half turn. Something like that. I may or may not be wrong with that amount, but I've not had many leaks, and if it does leak, you can always tighten it a little more. Uh, one thing you don't want to do is over tighten it because damage stuff. So then we got this. Our gauge. Where's the gauge. The gauge on this one's gonna be straight out at you, which is fine. It's not exactly like the OEM one was, but <clears throat> it was it was the right price. You know the nice thing about not having many followers. If you hear music in the background, I don't get demonetized because I'm not monetized. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. On a side note here, it's uh, I haven't posted a lot. It's been kind of crazy where I live. A lot of a lot of hostility every way you cut it, and I'm kind of a live and let live type person. I don't hate people for political views, and I don't hate people for their stance on things. As, as long as you have a reason for, a legitimate reason for why you feel some kind of way, I generally be right there with you. We'll snag that down. Now all we got to do is install <clears throat> the one, so the one it came with is a little different than the one that I have for my current air hose. Now, I don't know if this um, will work with my air hose. Let me check that real quick, actually. Yeah, okay, no. So I'm gonna reuse my old one here, I think. Seems like it's the same thread. Maybe not. Can't tell. Maybe not. So maybe it's not. I don't know. Let's see.
No, it's definitely not the same thread. All right, well, we're switching over to that one. But all that means is I'll have to switch uh, the end of my air hose to this style here. So, not a big deal. Actually, let me check again. Push it a little harder than I'm used to. Maybe, maybe it is the right one. Yeah, it's not the right one. So, oh, look at that. To add to the complications, we got a inverted type here. So I'm gonna have to gonna have to fix that now. Really surprised that that's a different thread. Doesn't make sense to me. Should be the same. See, just thread into my old one. Maybe they're just the putty on here. Yeah, it's just the putty. Okay, there's some thread putty on there that I'm gonna clean off. Makes it feel like it's the wrong thread. I'm a firm believer in not forcing threads because uh, never, never seems to turn out good. So we'll clean off these threads without impaling ourselves on a rusty old. But anyway, like I was saying, I really hope everyone's doing well. I know these are tough times for everyone. We have to remember that. We gotta remember that everyone, just about everyone, is having a tough time right now. Not just you, <clears throat> not just your neighbor, not just the stories you hear about. Everyone is going through a tough, uncertain time right now. None of us know None of us know. I don't even know if the governments know when things are going to go back to normal. So let's not add to the complication by being aggressive and hostile towards each other. And yes, I'm using adjustable wrenches. Yes, I do have normal wrenches, but I figure the average person has an adjustable wrench. So though it may not be the perfectly right tool. You can get the job done with it. It's not exactly the wrong tool. <clears throat> All right, so we got our thing here back installed and we will power it up and see if we have any leaks. Let's go ahead and do that. good news is we have no leaks. The bad news is I think the instructions for this were wrong. See, they show it uh, passing through there. And that's not how it's looking here. Might have to switch things around. Yeah. It didn't take long for that um, cheap Amazon regulator to um, spontaneously start leaking. Literally did nothing to it. I, I filmed this, um, <laughs> went out to use it before even editing, and uh, it was leaking. And really kind of just overall kind of felt chintzy but I thought you know for for the price it was and, and it doesn't get used very much so I thought it'd be fine um, so I'm gonna go up to the next step up and um, probably hopefully not shooting myself in the foot here I'm gonna go and get one from Harbor Freight so let's head up there and see if the Harbor Freight one's any better. I am imagining that it's also from China, but maybe it's from a part of China that cares a little more about quality assurance. I don't know. But I'm going to go get this one. Um, I'll probably record swapping it out. Why not? And uh, hopefully we can get that thing working properly. See, I bought a... Uh, sorry for the air noise, the wind noise. I bought a uh, air nailer, a Brad 
it's a finish nailer and it can only have a certain amount of PSI going through it. Uh, so I was having to like manually regulate turning it on, turning it off, and it was a nightmare. So um, I'd like to get it fixed. And the original one was leaking bad out of the uh, the knob, the adjustment knob. So anyway, we need to go get this, get that swapped out so that I can use my air nailer and not overpressure it and destroy it. So I don't know if you guys have the same problem, but I swear every time... I do something, it cascades into more things. Like, I, I was fixing deck railing. Um, I needed a, I had a, I have a brad nailer, but the brads weren't strong enough, so I had to get a finish nailer. Um, or my brad nailer may have just been wore out, I don't know. But I had to get a finish nailer. Then I fire up the air compressor, I try to regulate the thing down <clears throat> to the proper PSI, and it wouldn't move at all. It literally showed exactly the same pressure as in the tank no matter where I screwed the knob so hopefully I can get this fixed so then I can use the brat then the finish nailer and go on about my day so uh, let's go ahead and head to Harbor Freight here so I hadn't yet edited the video the same day I had installed this I came out here it hasn't fallen if it would have, it would have hit this. Nothing happened. This is loose and leaking out, of, leaking air out of the gauge. The pressure regulator piece still works, and it's just chintzy. It's it's leaking out of this. I, I you can see I taped it. Um, so went to Harbor Freight, grabbed this one, which is this one. So the gauge is going to end up on top like it was supposed to be. I did have to reorient, um, this was flipped over, so I did have to reorient that. But we're going to take this back off and put the new one back on. So, let's get to it. This old girl is going back to Amazon, where it belongs. Gonna take this loose again. Don't want to have to do that. Lesson here, folks, is um. a nice one the first time. Not like I didn't just buy another junky one, but yeah. It's a Harbor Freight air compressor. Oh no, it's not. It's a Craftsman air compressor. Never mind. Probably made in the same place as Harbor Freight ones, if we're being honest. So we got that one off. that junky Teflon tape that came with the old one. Bought some other junky Teflon tape. So again, we're going to Teflon tape everything. Like you're supposed to do. Because we don't like leaks. Leaks are annoying. That one person who says, I really like how that air compressor sounds when it's the whole time you're trying to work on something. And then also it's having to kick on more often, yada, yada, yada. So we'll put some, probably about, I don't know, four or five wraps of this on here on each side. Cue the Jeopardy music. I won't do that to you guys. Once that's in your head. It's like baby shark, right? Alright. So, first things first. Keep this up out of the way. I'm not going to screw that back in until I'm done. Because we don't want to do that. We check which way the airflow says. And we got an arrow here. So the air goes through this way. Okay. 
the air goes through this way. There's a little arrow. Oh, I'm sorry, it goes this way. So this has to be from the feed from that way. So first things first. We'll get that snug. In there. that and don't put all your pressure on the, just the gauge or just the handle I try to spread it out but we're looking pretty good there I like that looks good <laughs> Now we're gonna take it back out because because that's what fun people do. I made a noopsie. I took this loose and forgot to put it back down under here where it goes. So no biggie. We'll we'll re Teflon this. off of it before but you can just take and rip off what you think you need a little more than you think you need probably good idea and just rewrap it there are no mistakes just happy little accidents see look we got to do it twice we're all that much better for the next time and now we'll thread this back on Maybe. There we go. I feel like it needs to get one more turn. I'm trying not to damage the gauge here or the knob make sure you stop just shy where you need to be and we're back on and this is now free to be reattached down there so we'll do that later so now we had an issue with the old um, quick disconnect it was leaking internally here which is one of the annoying parts of these. So I bought a new set, not, a, not an expensive set, but it'll do the job. All right, we're gonna wrap this again. Everything gets wrapped with sealer. It's not a snake, it shouldn't hiss. Are you laughing at any of these guys? Come on, the world's too serious right now. Could all use a little relax. I know I could. Thread it into the rest of it. Make sure that you're not clogging your opening. You'll think you got major issues and you don't. So just make sure that you peel it back. You wonder why you have very little or limited airflow. This thing wants to fight me, doesn't it? It's okay. It's all right. Just no mistakes. Mr. Bob Ross taught us. I'm no pneumatic plumber. I actually think this one looks a lot nicer than that other one, too. Not that it really matters. Now we'll hook this line up. 
which is never fun. It's a hard, hard copper line. You got to make sure that it really lines up perfectly. Otherwise, it wants to do all kinds of funky stuff. Always make sure you get it, you know, six or seven, or not six or seven, two or three turns by hand, so you know you're not cross-threading it. Right. That looks good. That's everything's taped. Right, let's plug it in, let it run up, and uh, we'll come back and see if it has any leaks. All right, so the air compressor ran a full cycle. If you come closer, you can see there's no leaks. The gauge is actually now where it's supposed to be. And if you watch the gauge here, it's now working. I can limit how much pressure comes out the hose. You can do 40 pounds all the way up to whatever is in the tank. So I'll put it at 100 and leave it there because normally we just fill tires and things like this. Um, but now we can use special uh, special equipment or anything else that requires a lower amount of uh, pressure. So if you like your seeing, give it a thumbs up. I know it's been a minute since I made a video. I'm sorry, it's been crazy. You know, life happens, we all know that. So, um, but I'm gonna have some content coming out. Um, I'm, I got this coming out and then I'm gonna be doing a, uh, the battery pack on my electric push mower is not working. So we're gonna make a video on uh, how to fix that and also later. So we'll have a couple videos coming out here soon. Um, I really hope you guys are finding a way to stay compassionate, love one another, help one another throughout this whole thing. I know that I've had to keep on myself um, and make sure that I'm being the best me I can be. And so I think if we all be the best me we can all be, um, the world would be a better place. So let's not get caught up in politics and chaos and COVID and everything else. I mean, I see so much hate going around, whether you want to wear a mask, whether you don't want a mask, whether you want the vaccine, whether you don't want the vaccine, it's just been all kinds of craziness. So let's all try to love a little more and hate a little less. Thanks for watching.